cats, those enigmatic creatures who grace our homes, can be a constant source of amusement and bewilderment. While their purrs and headbunts speak volumes of affection, their occasional nips and bites can leave us scratching our heads. Why do our feline friends resort to such seemingly aggressive behaviour? Is it a sign of displeasure, a misdirected play instinct, or something else entirely? Understanding the motivations behind a cat's bite is crucial to building a strong and loving bond with our feline companions. Cats communicate differently than we do, relying on a complex system of body language, vocalizations, and yes, even bites to convey their needs and emotions. By learning to interpret these subtle cues, we can begin to unravel the mystery behind the bite and foster a deeper understanding of our feline friends. Cats bite for a variety of reasons, and it's important to remember that biting is a natural feline behavior. One common reason is play aggression. Cats, especially kittens, are natural-born hunters, and playful biting is a way for them to practice their hunting skills. They might stalk your feet under the covers, pounce on a toy mouse, or even playfully nip at your fingers during a petting session. Another reason cats might bite is due to overstimulation. Have you ever been petting your cat lost in the bliss of their soft fur only to have them suddenly turn and nip you? This is often a sign that your cat has had enough and needs a break from being touched. Fear or anxiety can also trigger biting in cats. A cat who feels threatened or cornered might resort to biting as a means of self-defense. This is especially true for cats who have had negative experiences in the past, such as being abused or neglected. Medical reasons can also contribute to biting behavior in cats. If you notice a sudden change in your cat's behavior, including increased biting, it's always best to err on the side of caution and consult with your veterinarian. Cats are masters of nonverbal communication, and they often give subtle cues before resorting to biting. Recognizing these warning signs can help prevent unwanted nips and scratches. A cat who is feeling agitated or threatened might flatten their ears against their head, twitch their tail back and forth, or narrow their eyes. Vocalizations can also provide valuable insights into a cat's emotional state. A cat who is feeling playful might chirp or meow softly, while a cat who is feeling agitated might hiss, growl, or even spit. Pay attention to your cat's vocal cues and learn to differentiate between playful sounds and warning signals. When a cat's pupils widen, it can be a sign of fear, anxiety, or aggression. If you notice your cat's pupils suddenly dilating, it's best to give them space and avoid direct eye contact, which can be perceived as threatening. Changes in grooming habits can also indicate stress or discomfort. Preventing the pounce tips for a harmonious home. Creating a cat-friendly environment is essential for preventing biting and promoting a harmonious relationship between cats and their humans. Provide your cat with plenty of outlets for their natural instincts, such as scratching posts, climbing trees and interactive toys. Engage your cat in regular play sessions to satisfy their hunting instincts and provide mental and physical stimulation. Respect your cat's boundaries and learn to recognize their signals. Never punish a cat for biting as this can damage your bond and lead to further behavioral issues. Consider using positive reinforcement techniques such as rewarding your cat with treats or praise when they exhibit desired behaviors. Playful biting, while often harmless, can quickly escalate if not properly managed. It's important to establish boundaries with your cat from a young age to prevent playful nips from turning into painful bites. One effective technique is to redirect your cat's attention to an appropriate toy if they start to nip at your hands or feet during playtime. Another useful strategy is to withdraw attention if your cat bites too hard. If your cat nips you during playtime, immediately stop the interaction and turn away from them. This will teach them that biting leads to an end to the fun. If you're struggling to manage your cat's biting behavior on your own, don't hesitate to seek professional help from a certified cat behaviorist or veterinarian. At the heart of preventing cat bites lies a foundation of trust and understanding. Cats who feel safe, secure and loved in their environment are less likely to resort to biting as a means of communication or defense. Building this trust takes time, patience, and a genuine desire to see the world from your cat's perspective. Create a predictable routine for your cat that includes regular feeding times, play sessions, and opportunities for affection. Provide your cat with a safe haven, a designated space where they can retreat to when they feel overwhelmed or stressed. Most importantly, approach your cat with love, respect, and empathy. 
Living in harmony with our feline companions requires a deep understanding of their unique communication style. Cats may not speak our language, but their meows, purrs, hisses, and yes, even their bites all convey valuable information about their needs, emotions, and intentions. By learning to decipher these subtle cues, we can bridge the communication gap and build stronger, more fulfilling relationships with our cats. So embrace the mysteries of your feline friend, celebrate their unique personalities, and remember that the journey to understanding each other is a two-way street paved with patience, love, and a whole lot of purrs.